Welcome to Dud and Dan. I'm Dan. And I'm Dudley. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Our energy level's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. Because we're recording in the morning. And I'm drinking coffee. And we're drinking coffee. We're drinking coffee. I don't know if this is good or bad. It is energy. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, Dudley's got the morning flip. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Um, this is why, like, morning shows are so like, ah, <laughs> we just woke up. Oh, we've been up since five a.m. <laughs> That's not true. I mean, for morning shows, yes. Yeah, for morning us, shows, no. yes, but not for us, us. no. We've no. been up for a uh, yeah. I've been up thirty minutes, forty minutes myself. What took you a little long to get here? I had to I had to sweep the apartment. What? what? Yeah. There are priorities here, Dan. I know. Mm-hmm. You know. You can get up. I want to schedule today. And if you had been here earlier, we'd be closer to being done. Um. All I'm going to say is take it up with her. <laughs> <laughs> with whom? Uh, my girlfriend. Uh-huh. 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 That night, sounds like partner. it was something you were supposed to do yesterday. No, it was not. And you did. It was not mentioned at all until yeah. this morning. Well, you, you, you don't. <laughs> and I that. said I have to go soon, and uh. she said I know, and I said okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and that was that. Uh huh. Moving on. And let's talk about video games uh-huh. mm-hmm. and board game. We played Clank in space again. Yes. Hey, you're going too fast. You need to slow this down. In. It's it we. Uh, Where are you? Where are you? I'm you're, sorry. You're not doing the echo. Because you're going too quickly. I can't keep up. Oh. We're only two minutes in, and you're oh. already like, let's talk about games. I'm sorry. I, we got to, you know, meander it's, for I'm a little while. Go. We got to. in the morning. We got to. No, you're not. I'm, I'm ready to go. That's not true. That is true. No, you're not. I, yes, you're not. I, I, once I get going, I'm going. I'm ready no. to go. Let's go. Okay. Um, so you want to clock? You always bring it down. Yeah, bring it I need you bit. to drink some more coffee. To calm down. Usually we we bullshit for about ten minutes and then oh. we actually talk about what we do on the show. Oh, oh, okay. I just thought we had a lot to cover. So uh, do we? I mean, <laughs> I played three games, four games technically. There was one I forgot about. I got three on my yeah, list. Yeah, so that's more than that's way above the average. <laughs> <laughs> what is the average? Uh, for me, one. <laughs> one and a half. For oh. you, half a game. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Okay. I say a quarter. <laughs> most weeks I have played one game. Uh, and then some weeks I play more than one. Uh huh. And then some weeks I play a lot of games. Uh huh. So I say my average. I'm Did sorry. you just burp? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, I'm not used to having coffee on here, so I'm like trying to. I'm taking a sip of it, and it's and I'm like, oh man, like, you can hear me drinking. Because normally I'm drinking water. You don't, you know. Apparently, I slurp my coffee, so yes, I'm like, you, you, um, you slurp it to cool it. <sighs> there's a cooling. Process, so there's a lot more it? mouth noise going yeah. on today, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Luckily, I think this helps cut some of it out. Well, it's good. Not all of it, because you're so obnoxious. Mm, yeah, well, there's only so much <laughs> you can do. Um, yes, we play. can do nothing for the quality of our voices. Yeah. Which is subpar at best. At best. At best. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, normal people who, who speak for, you know, for... For any I was going to say a living, we don't make a living. Any kind of performances. Uh, have they, like, they, strong voices? They train their voices. Train their voices. <laughs> Our, we have strong voices. I wouldn't say we have solid voices. I wouldn't even say that much. <laughs> I mean, we can, uh, we can project. Yes, we are loud. Yes. Let's put simply. Yes. Um, part of that is, you know, hearing loss. <laughs> Yeah. Part of that is uh, we were in band <laughs> where you played. What did you play in I band? I played a baritone. You are a baritone. How much did you weigh in high school? Oh, at the beginning or at the end? Let's do an average. An average? Well, I started well, wait, okay, wait, no, Let's start at the beginning because you weren't in band I was weighing all year. like 90 pounds. No, 90, 90 pounds. Pound. Okay. How much did your baritone weigh? <laughs> I think it was 90 pounds. <laughs> no, it was like, I don't know. I don't know. It was an absurd sight. Yeah. With you with a baritone. Uh, yeah. Uh, how did you end up with a baritone? Uh, I, I mean, I have the lungs. 
because of the bear. Oh. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, oh, but is that it? That's uh, the whole point. That's uh, the whole point of the story. I, got, um, that's why you're, you're loud. Because <laughs> um, you built up your lungs. I had to have... Um, I Here's the story. Um, many years prior to high school, they we were we entered band. And... Yes. Uh, you had to try. You had to go through and try all the different mouse pieces for the different instruments yeah. in and middle then they school. They rated you. Yeah, it was like middle school, uh-huh. and they rated how how on you performed on it. Mm-hmm. And then you, you know, the the instrument everyone wants to play. They had special tryouts for like yeah. percussions and saxophone because yeah. everyone wants to play those. Yeah, and I tried out for both of them. I, I did didn't. not do well. I didn't, and I should have. You should have. Uh, but. I thought I went in overconfident, and I should have practiced a little bit with the percussion stuff. If I had just done a little practicing, I would have been ready, but yeah. I kind of fought, budged it, um, even though I have a good rhythm. Um, the uh, <laughs> What was that? <laughs> what was that little, like, sure. <laughs> you have good rhythm now. Uh, maybe, I don't know right, about but, back then. <laughs> either way. Um, <laughs> I, and then they asked you to pick your three instruments, yeah. like your top three. One, yeah. one, two, and three. Yeah. And so for some weird reason at that time in my life, I wanted to play the clarinet. Okay. I have no idea why. I still think about I it. I don't sometimes. remember that. I wanted I picked my number one pick was the clarinet. Hmm. I thought maybe, it was an interesting maybe, instrument. It is not I mean, there's nothing wrong with clarinet. Yeah. Uh I have uh held a clarinet yes. and pretended to play a clarinet. Wait, why didn't you um, do that? Uh, that's a that's a high school story where uh, marching oh, yeah, band. Right, yeah, and I wasn't. Uh, I, I was not great. Uh, so I was. Were you uh, great at anything? You know, Being uh, I made a I made a good baby. So <laughs> there's something there. Uh, the it, at one point the in marching band they needed people in certain spots to to march, but they. You know, the instruments didn't match the other one. Yeah. So I was always on the sideline, so they stuck me in. Uh huh. But I played trumpet, so it stuck out too much. So they gave me a clarinet with no reed. You just hung, held and it. I just held it. It was the best way to march. Yeah. I was like, I don't have to slay nothing. It, just just, just, walk this I'm just way. walking. I just walked this way. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> and, and that's it. Uh, and that's, that's why I, I. Yeah. I you I think you were just thinking if I can't be play a saxophone I'll play the next big thing. I, I mean I thought they were cool looking because yeah, they were one of the few okay. instruments that were black. They had all kinds of buttons and holes. I thought it was like oh these look really cool and intricate. I want to play that. And so I picked that. Not that I did particularly well with the the clarinet mouthpiece when I tried out for that. Yeah. Um. And then I picked um I think trombone for my second choice. Uh huh. And then I was like. You well, like the bone, I could have put it. trumpet, but Robert, our older brother, Brom, played, played trumpet. trumpet. You were going for trumpet. Well, I was. I really wanted percussion, but I didn't even try out because I just got in my head and thought, yeah. nah, I can't do it. And then, which, which is was dumb. The dumbest thing it's to do. It's dumb. Should, if you're at that point, if for any listeners, if you're in middle school, <laughs> just go for it. The worst come to worst, you sure won't we have get what you want. Schoolers, but Probably not. Yeah. But it's a good advice in life. If there's something you actually want... Just go but for don't, it. But don't let your insecurities yeah. deter you. Practice you at least a little try. bit and go. Just try. Yeah. If nothing else, you don't even have to practice hard. Just try. At least and then you can go, well, I tried. Exactly. Um, anyway. So I tried and failed. <laughs> and yes. I can say that. I wasn't afraid of that, so I didn't try. Yeah. See, that was that was the wrong <laughs> So now I can maintain for the rest of my life that if I had tried, I would have got it. We don't know that. <laughs> we have no idea. Um, I believe now you could. I think, oh, definitely now. Um, I've played drums for yeah. some years now. Um, the, yeah, so anyway, I did, wasn't, I refused to put for my third choice the trumpet because I knew I had done okay yeah. trying out with it. And I was like, if I put trumpet, they're going to put me on trumpet. Uh-huh. I refused to be, I did not want to do the same thing you were going to be doing. I did not want to do the same mm-hmm. thing Robert was going to do. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. So I was like, what's the most random instrument that I will not get me? Cause I couldn't think of another one. I was like, Baritone. So you were trying to stack the deck. I was trying to stack the deck thinking, oh, they won't give me that. I'm this skinny I'm little, little thing. <laughs> They're not going to give me that. And well, I didn't think about, from their perspective, no one probably ever wrote baritone down. <laughs> and then they're like, this kid wrote baritone. Just give him baritone. I'm like, God. 
You should have picked tuba. I should no. Oh, that was, I don't want to be playing tuba. But it here, here's the deal. It the worked out. Is, There's no way you could have held a tuba. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a skinnier to... guy in the tuba section. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I remember that. Uh, what was his name? I don't remember his name. Jeremy? Was it Jeremy? I think it was Jeremy. No, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But there was a much an even skinnier guy on tuba. So I they would have given it to me because I wrote it down. So I, I didn't think it through. That's all it was. I should have picked a really popular instrument that everyone knew, and I would have probably had a better chance of getting clarinet. Yeah. Uh, you should have put a, you know, percussion at the very yeah, bottom. You couldn't. You weren't no, allowed. You weren't allowed. You weren't allowed to do that one or saxophone. You get, they had you could not pick those. You had to pick. You should have yeah, been yeah. a rebel and only wrote two. I should have <laughs> wrote two and said, you know, fuck off. Uh, right. Third option. Not banned. <laughs> well, I know your when you did your well, you, wrote, did you wrote trumpet and you said I own a trumpet. <laughs> yeah, well, see that's the thing when you wrote the list, you you wrote your three and then you if you own or knew someone or if your family member had one or whatever, you could write. I, see, you that's know, what I should have done. I should have lied. You should have said, said I own a clarinet, yeah. not owning a clarinet, but if they gave it to me, I go buy a clarinet. You know, yeah, with yeah, no make, money I had at yeah, the time. My, my yeah. parents force your buy. parents to buy I an expensive mom, instrument. Dad, I lied. So you must buy me a clarinet now. Those are expensive. Yeah. I uh, almost bought reed, one. The reed instruments are not yeah. cheap. I almost bought one Yeah, uh, re- fairly recently. Really? I was at a resale shop, oh. and they had a clarinet. And I was like, maybe I should just buy it and learn to play it now. Yeah. I probably could figure it out. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. About as well as you figure out anything else. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I own multiple instruments. I uh-huh. do okay to make sound come you out You play of them. one of them well. I play... <laughs> One of them will. <laughs> Maybe two. Maybe. <laughs> Which two are you? What's the second one? Uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to backtrack. I'm going to say one. Oh, come on. <laughs> you said maybe. What was the maybe? I, I was thinking of, I was like trying to remember. I know, you played a harmonica a few times. I do not play a good harmonica. <laughs> I didn't think so. But that's why are I you was okay on a tin like, flute? Maybe, <laughs> ten, oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's. No one does well on that, really. I mean, I some mean, people do really well. If you're not, I don't know what you're talking about. If you're not in an Irish bar where everyone's drunk and doesn't care, is it really that good? Um, <laughs> I mean, I've heard some really good tin flutes uh, while sober, so uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I also grew up li- listening to a lot of Flogging Molly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, Anyway. We have so sidetracked. because I picked that, I ended up with a baritone, which is a fairly lar- larger instrument, but honestly, fine because baritone plays all the low melody parts. Yeah, so you're just going boom, boom. No, oh, yeah, that's the boom. tuba. The tubas are just out there back in the back doing the bass line of boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, oh, yeah, exactly. They're doing that, and that's not fuck. I know because I sat in front of the tubas, yeah, yeah. And listened to them all day. Well, the uh, the baritones were doing the melodies from the low octave, so we got all the cool parts. We were right there doing the fun part, so mm-hmm. I actually enjoyed the baritone. I but it is a larger mean, instrument. I had to. Honestly, blow I don't remember. It. I don't remember what the trumpets were doing. <laughs> Probably we, not. we we were playing important stuff. Yeah. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. <laughs> but someone was. Uh-huh. You know, in the dozen yeah. of us, there yeah. were. I was all the way there at the bottom. I was usually last chair, maybe second to last chair. I was second to last chair. Until I never was last chair. Oh, really? Um, because uh, there was one person who, who uh, I, will, I will remain nameless, uh, was below me. Uh-huh. Uh, it, in high school, uh, was the last chair, and this person did not care. Oh, yeah. At all. And in fact, w- days that would uh, have the contest or whatever to see what seat you were. Just wouldn't show up. Oh, really? And so I was guaranteed on never to be last. Yeah. So, and I would try. Yeah. And do terrible and then be last chair. Yeah. And I mean, then, I was not bad. This is how, this is where I was. So it was, it was this last person, me, and then uh, our buddy Tristan sat next to me. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, who also didn't care, yeah. but had skills. Yeah. Uh, had better, where, he was better at the front. Yeah. He was natu- better, more on the natural abilities, me and him, he was slightly better than me. And I wouldn't be surprised if he actually practiced a little bit. I don't think he did. I think he, he seems he, like the kind of person who would no, say, I "No, he, I didn't practice," but he did a little bit. See, I didn't practice. Yeah, that's exactly. So what So that's I'm why I, why I was there. Mm-hmm. He, I don't think practice. He was just had slightly better. He was just at some point he did 
play more. Yes. So and I think it was really what it was. He, he had he was two years older, so he he has a uh, he had gotten jaded later. He got jaded later, so he actually put effort into it earlier, and then was better at it than yeah. I was. Um, so. But it was fun because I had the person, and we were in the section that just didn't care. <laughs> and, uh, oh, this is so funny. But I dropped out of band as soon as that other person, the boy from below me, graduated. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to be last. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I was always last chair, but I wasn't terrible. I was okay. I didn't practice much. Well, being last just, chair and baritone, not yeah, a big deal. There weren't as many of y'all. Yeah, I mean, there was, I was like, like six, maybe. Uh, I think at one point there might have been eight of us, uh, okay. maybe nine at most. But they were all fairly good. Yeah. They were all, the baritone collection was really good. Like, it wasn't that I was bad. They yeah. just actually were better. They oh, were yeah, like, yeah. I was okay. They just were all better. Yeah. I mean, I was not. If, if you really think about it, the structure of a baritone and trumpet aren't that different. It's just the size. They both I mean, use three fingers. They, they yes, and uh, and really, it's really it. I mean, it's uh, just the amount of yes. air he has pushed through is differently, yes. and the mouthpiece is different. Yes, so everything is different, other than they have three three. No, I'm talking vowels. about the controlling of them is similar. They have three vowels. I don't know if the fingering's the same. I don't think so. Uh, because I haven't said the, the, the trumpet fingering. is treble clef, isn't it? Uh, huh? It, the trumpet is treble clef, right? Uh, what is that? <laughs> okay, there's treble clef and bass clef. Oh, yeah, that, okay, that's it. Yeah, you You're, play treble clef. That's true. I play bass clef. That's the big difference. That is a big difference. <laughs> um, the big difference is I think you're the, the trumpet in the bass clef. That's what I'm saying. I mean, maybe we pl- we might play similar things, but usually the trumpets are like back there going. Ba-ba! See, that's not accurate. <laughs> well, well, the trump, the baritones were over here going. Oh, bah, bah, bah. That's not true. We bah, did the same. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> no, we we were we were center stage a lot. Uh, okay, if you say so. Uh, I have no idea. I didn't. <laughs> you don't know. You didn't even remember trumpet clap. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. Oh now God. I did pick up my trumpet. A few years ago, because I found it in the closet, and then I just was like, let's see what I remember, and then I did the scale, so I remember something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't own a baritone, because I, you know, they're not cheap, and yeah. they, a lot know, of so I have not played one since I, uh, since high school, so it's been mm-hmm. some years, but I, I can see here, and I can go, I can, I can know, I remember the finger. It's the same. Well, that's every scale, Dudley. No, I mean the finger. Yeah. That's exactly the same. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 not, no, you know, it, you, it, it's kind of a rolling. Open. open the, the, the outer, outer, yeah. The, the left two. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, uh, that, and then you the, roll it. Yeah. Oh, so it might be the same. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure they're oh. the same. But I just have more lung capacity. So, on, yeah, that's really it. Yeah, um, I have quite the lung capacity. Oh, it's it's weird. <laughs> um, um, I have one too because the, it takes a lot for the trumpet too because it's you're, faster. It's faster, and then also you're you're blowing through a smaller hole. Right? Yeah. So you have to go. <laughs> Jessie's in the room getting something, and she just made a, a side eye like at that comment. And you, you're going you, to a smaller hole. Yeah, that's what does right. that mean? <laughs> it means exactly what you think it means. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're just used to bigger mouthpieces. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, bigger mouthpiece. It's the same mouthpiece as the trombone. And I knew a little bit of watching trombone. I could probably play a little bit of trombone. Just by year, almost. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, Termos are hard. <laughs> yeah, but it's just. Dun, 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 dun. I I I hung out with Ham a lot. I could I I I could take it. Ham did play the trombone. Yeah, I he played the trombone. I could have been in the last section with the him. ham bone. The ham bone. <laughs> uh, huh. We what have are... wasted way too much time on that. <laughs> yeah, I went from like we went from like we were spending too much time on something to spending way too much time on something yeah. else. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's talk about let's games. Talk about games. Uh, we play Clank in space again. Clank, Clank in, in space, 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 space. There's no echo in space. Yes, but you keep doing it. Yes. Um, it yes. sounds nice. I didn't do a very good job that time. No, I'm, you didn't. I'm still not awake. It's okay. Yeah. Um, we did good play. game. We played it with uh, Ricky. Rick, and, uh, good friend, uh, buddy, buddy, friend of the show, uh-huh. Ricky Kennedy, uh, and uh, Brandy. Brandy. Uh, uh, and of the Cartwright The clam. third wife. Uh, <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> no. Out of context. I mean, no Rick one knows what you're Trey's saying. the third man. Yes. Yeah, so she's the 
but the, the third it, wife. I I'm not gonna call her the third wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, she's not a, his third wife. No, she's just but the third man wife. Third, that sounds weird too. That's just like there's a lot of weird sexist connotations in there. The third woman. Uh, what? Mm, what? Yeah, let's just she go. She has one Brandy. older sister, I think. The, uh, she doesn't have. No, she's the oldest sister. Well, of course, Trey's a, Trey has a sister. Mm-hmm. But it's not. that's not why he's the third man. He's the third in the line of three. Uh-huh. Uh, so I don't believe Brandy is a third. So I should probably not call her that. But uh, you got yourself some coffee there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, uh, I slipped away while you were rambling to um, grab coffee. Anyway, we played with them. Uh, I thought I was doing fairly well. Yeah. Um, I knew you thought you were doing fairly uh, well. I, but I kind of did the same thing I did last time. Yeah. Just not necessarily as well as I did last time. Mm-hmm. And I was the first one who got an artifact and was on the way out. Yes. Brandy was shortly after. Yes. And she got up. She, she and I had portal passes. Mm-hmm. And Which I got all the way. I was two steps away from the drop pod to get yeah. out. Because mm-hmm. in clanking space, it's different from regular clank in that there's n- in Multiple. regular clank, there's one exit. Yeah. In uh, clank in space, there's four different exits that are drop pods. Everyone has to and get to everyone, it. Everyone, each one, once someone gets in it, it's launched and you can't, you have, someone, you have to go to another one. Well, I was literally two spaces away, uh-huh. and then here comes Brandy running past me with her <laughs> bullshit uh, card that lets her go past security checkpoints, which yeah. are like Crystal Caverns from yeah. regular Clank, where you basically you once you hit it, you're not supposed to use boots anymore. Yeah. But she had a card that lets her ignore that, mm-hmm. and so she just ran right through the security check right at the drop pod and jumped in the drop pod and left. Yeah. Leaving me with no drop pod. Left you going. And this, you, were, you were literally at the door going, what's the code? What the what's code? the code? And she's like, bye! And scanning and her like, card. And, and she's, go, she's just like, one, two, three, four! Ah! <laughs> yeah. And out the gate. It was more like she had a pass. And you're like, ah, multi-pass! <laughs> and then ran through. Multi-pass. And then, poop, right through the gate. Uh, and she so she VIP jumped in. Yeah. In the, she's in section A boarding the plane. Yes, exactly. She <laughs> had first class C. tickets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it really she ran right past me, took the drop, <laughs> yeah. and it ran off. And then I was like, "Well, I now need three more boots, and I have to." It'll, and then the the next room to get into the next, the most nearest pocket was also a security check. Yeah. So I had to go through another security check. That means it was at least two more turns before I could get out. Yeah. So I'd end up dying right at the gate. Well, you you you, you were like the first one up. And everyone else is still in the game. Yeah. And then Brandy got out. Yes. And then, so she was gone. So I was like, okay, that's one more person yeah. here. And then I got out. Yeah. And then the next. And then I got you knocked got, down the next round. So you got knocked down. Before so, my turn, even got her out. Yeah. But you, the reason you got knocked down, because. <laughs> you, gener- <laughs> you initiated another boss attack. I had the card that lets you either. And I've had it the whole game. It's a great card. Yeah. Uh, you either heal one or you do a boss attack. And yeah. it's not on May. It's a one or. Yeah, one or. And uh, so most of the game, I just heal, heal, heal. Yeah. And it's been great. Um, and I got down to this and I was like, oh. I'm I'm fine. Like I'm all the way in the safe section, and I'm gonna get out this turn. As long as we don't draw all my cubes, mm-hmm. I'll li- live. Yeah. So let's do a boss attack. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and it didn't kill you. No, it did. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yeah. Oh, Brandy's it, attack Brandy's, killed me. So I it it got you down to just one away. Yeah. And then uh, and I was like, good, good. Yeah. And then I got out. And then Brandy had, because she is already out, yeah. she had to do a four, get a four cube, cube draw, draw, and uh, that killed you. Yeah, <laughs> and I was salty. Salty. <laughs> uh, and here's the deal. I was like, okay, it's fine. That happens. That's the nature of the game. Uh, so I was like, fine. But I still got a lot of points. I got the largest artifact. I still got yeah. all my points because I got above ground or whatever yeah. into the, the launch module yeah. or whatever it's called. You just didn't get that last 20 points. Uh, and I just didn't get that last 20 points. So I mm. thought, I probably still did okay. Yeah. So I had, bef- without that 20 points, I had 82 points. Yes. Now, Brandy, who got my 20 points, yes. had 102 points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she beat me. She got second place because you won with 120-something. 123. Yeah. Uh, you won, but uh, she got my 20 points, keeping me from second place. 
I would have been second place had she not stolen my drop. Not necessarily. She stole my drop pod. She was in a good position. If she hadn't got to the drop pod, she probably would have made it to the other one. So she probably would have still been at uh, 102 and then maybe gotten some extra points along the way. So she probably still would have got that. Probably, but that's not how I choose to perceive it. Because she She robbed me. She She robbed me of my drop pod. She had a lot of boots. Like she was just moving uh, in that, in that. The, that ship, for mm-hmm. sure. Um, so she did well. She did very well. I did very well. She was messing I'd... me up. Normally, you're, like, right in front of me and messing me up the whole game. She it... was messing. She was in front of me and messing me up the whole hey, game. Daniel, I'm going to break it down to you. Whoever is in front of you is always going to mess you up. Yeah, except it you doesn't... had Ricky in front of you, who had not played this version of the game before. No. And he'd only played Clank once before. No. So I would but call I him help. an aggressive predecessor. But yeah, I mean, we he, you know we, he bought stuff. He did, really well. he did really well. He did well considering like, yeah, he'd only played this, this one. And then, you know, I was worried because he had only played regular Clank once that it was yeah. hard to uh, hard to um, yeah uh, hard to um, yeah for him to follow the board because that board's a little hard to look at. Uh, uh, yeah. And so um, the yeah. yeah, so I was a little worried about him because you know it was like you know a little more complex look up, but he picked. Well, he, he did really good. well. Uh, uh, I think having played the regular clan, he's played it twice. Oh, really? One. Uh, he's yeah. the only thought he had played one, but I'm pretty sure he's played it twice. Because yeah. every time he plays it, he's like, I think I've played this once. And yeah. then, so he's played it a couple times. So yeah. he, he picked up the me- base mechanic really well, but then the, a lot yeah. of the, the newer stuff is what was throwing him. Mostly. Yeah. Um, the faction stuff and, yeah. the, and then the module or the module and the hacking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He did well. He, did um, he was, you know, he did pretty good. I mean, I Clank is so much fun. It yeah. did, I, we we talk about it all the time, I love and Clank. I like having a different version. It's, Clank and Space uh, is and good. it's got new cards, so they're all references to the sci-fi things. It's just fun. Yeah. Uh, Even some more obscure stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of Fifth Element references. Fifth Element. Uh, there was a Farscape reference yeah, that we one. didn't catch last time. Uh, I noticed it, but I didn't. I knew it looked in. familiar, but I couldn't didn't place it right I away. I saw it. I was like, oh, that's right. Well, I didn't bring it yeah, up. Yeah, it was, was Dominar Rigel from, uh-huh. from Farscape, yeah. the puppet. Yeah. The, <laughs> One of the puppets. Yeah, many puppets. Yeah. yeah. And I uh, look, and so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we also played uh, earlier, uh, we played Code Names. Oh, that's right. Uh, with the. It was a couples game. Yeah, uh, you and Eden. And yes, me who and, uh, we we did a, a swap, a yes. full a full swap. Yes, I believe it's what they call it. Yes, it is, uh, that is a term <laughs> in a certain community. Yeah, we did a full swap. No, I played with with Jess. You uh, played with Eden. Yes, and we had a good time. I would say so. Yes, <laughs> I was a little concerned that I was going to lose um, because we, Jess sometimes has on some weird wavelengths the way she thinks. Jess is on a whole nother plane. <laughs> and so sometimes I'm just, like... I would, but it still works. It worked really well because I was like trying to be like... I, I don't know what, but the first game we did okay, but we lost. Yeah. Well, and just, then the first game Eden was given the clue yeah. and she was nailing it. Yeah. And I, and I was just like... And we did well. <laughs> like yeah. I had a lot of like stuff that synced up. I'm like, ooh, that's good. But then I end up with these three words. It was like uh, Washington... Washington, six foot tall, <laughs> weighs a fucking ton. <laughs> yeah, um. uh, yeah, uh, it was Washington, uh, flute, and whale. And I was like, how am I going to get those three together? And I, so what I did was, you, uh, you, I did you, song. You go. <laughs> I did song because I was thinking Washington Symphony and Orchestra, whale song, and flute is obviously interesting. So she got flute, See, and then... If you was talking about Washington, but then didn't get fix something else. I think and uh, just messed it up. Um, it, I think you could have it could have worked with song. You could, yeah, because you know the Washington. I know, and the I Washington, also knew the there was Washington. The, there's there's there's, there's the I, then, song. Uh, that the Flutes yeah and the yeah the uh, and well what is it? A fucking time. Super Brothers, <laughs> Super Brothers. Uh, I, I think it's the Professor Brothers. Professor what they call. Brothers. Yeah, they did, they they but you would know that. No even way would Eden would know that because I've shown no it to way. her, but Jess did not know that. No, Jess would uh, And she went off on like all these other like she's like we have different tastes of music, and I'm like you're thinking too granular. Yeah. <laughs> but 
it it was a, I thought it was fairly smart considering yeah. what I was working well, with. Well, y'all apparently synced up because the shoe game. Yeah, after, after that, that we like locked in because uh, she was then the code giver and we were like on it. She was like, yeah, we were high fiving, and then yeah. the last game we like destroyed y'all. I was doing I, my problem with code names is I get like I get stuck in the you know. Word combination, yeah, and then it's hard for me to do a clue that it, that's associated with them. Yeah, so I get like, oh, do this combination and this combination, and then it's always some weird, slightly off one that no one else thinks of but me. Yeah, and it, it which is why sense. usually I, you and I sync up pretty when we play together. We do that. really well. I like, oh, I know exactly what he's referring because yeah. you all give clues, and I'm like, oh, I know exactly what he's calling for. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and and Eden j- doesn't understand me. <laughs> and that's fair. She shouldn't. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> think most, most people, people do. Most people don't. Yeah, uh, as we covered many yeah. times. Yeah, especially talk when we talk about Dixit. Dixit. Yeah, yeah. Dixit. It is a very clear view of how that the, nobody understands. No one you, understands. And you don't me, understand anyone. And no one, and I understand no one. Um. <laughs> yes. Anyway. So yeah, we had a Code we had a great solid. time. A good swap, mm-hmm. I would say. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. It, is uh, it a we, soft swap or a hard? I think it's a full swap, a hard swap. That's same rooms, full swap. Yes, that's. that's I think it, that's, that's what it is. That's the right term. I think it. I think that's. I'll look up the game, the board game community, and make sure that's. Yeah, correct. that make sure that's correct. <laughs> I think it's on there. I think yeah. Uh, <laughs> the it, where, uh, there's probably. <laughs> you think there's a uh, on like if you go into the the forums for uh, board game geeks, board game there's geeks, a, there's like a, a, a like a sub form for swingers, <laughs> swingers who play board games. Who I play mean, maybe I'm sure, there's got to be a community probably. that I would not be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. It'd probably be easier to find in like a swinger community. You just got to find the board. You got to find the pineapple. <laughs> the pineapple is what tells you. The pineapple. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the pineapple's like the... I think it's an upside-down pineapple. Something like that. I have no idea what it's, you're talking it's a, about. It's the signal for for swingers. Is it? Yeah. I've never heard that well, before. Well, you know, I have a lot of knowledge you've never heard of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I believe so. I don't think that's true universally, but I think in some circles, yes. Okay. Yeah. I've also heard flamingos, but I don't think that's entirely accurate. Because I've known people with lots of flamingos who were definitely not swingers. That yeah. I'm aware. Yeah, I could be wrong. Aware. You could be wrong. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that's, that's a discussion we'll have to have when the recording's not going. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> the... <coughs> no. See, you got that? See, this is why we don't it's record. allergies, not COVID. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, the We've gone through a lot of weather change in the last. We have gone weeks. through some extreme weather. So I went from wearing multiple layers, multiple socks, to and fleece pants, to, yeah, to and sweaters, to uh, back to shorts uh, yeah. and flip flops. Like, yeah. um, so my my I've had a lot. Of, I had a ringing in my ear from okay, all no the pressure. Okay, no one cares. Um, <laughs> okay, we've on. been playing Valheim. Valheim. Uh, not together, but not separately. Separately, we need to start. We, we need should. To, we need should, to get. A we need together. to get together. Get together. We gotta. We gotta I think we can help each other together. There. Yeah. Connect them. Yeah. Um. Hey, and yeah, they. It, I like. Valheim. How has your Valheim experience been? I like it. I do too. Um, and I see the appeal of yes. it. Yes. Um, it's 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 like a lot of those kind of games, those yeah. survival buildings. Yeah. But there's there's a certain flair. There's something and, about the theme that's very. The, the theme is I really like the gripping. Theme. Yeah, and the style is I like. Yeah, the because style. you're in a magical realm magical of an afterlife for a and it works purgatory in, or whatever it, you want to call it. It's not Minecraft yeah. art, and it's not like Ark. Yeah. So it's got something t- between those two. Yeah. Area. So, so it not, ends up looking really pretty. It's not so, abstract. but it's not over. It's not complicated. It's not super abstracted like Minecraft yeah. is, but it's not super realistic. Yeah, more in, on the, in the weird way that Ark is. Yeah, yeah. So it's somewhere in the middle, but it's beautiful. It is pretty, and it's got a style to it. It's and, got some atmosphere, and I'm really digging it. Yes, um, and it's kind of and uh, relaxing in a way. Uh, At some point, sometimes it's sometimes not. it's not. But I don't get like. 
Like yeah. super, some kind of an arc, I get super stressed. Whereas yeah, because one, there's I'm, terrifying things in arc. Whereas this one, and I'm sure we'll get to that point where yeah, there, there are, are some stuff. scary looking things. And but for the most part, I'm just like, just go into the woods, yeah. gotta chop some trees. Yeah, With trees uh, are dangerous. Trees are dangerous. Trees are really dangerous. Uh, which is realistic. Yeah, <laughs> trees are dangerous. Trees when are, you're cutting down trees, it's super dangerous. I mean, trees. In we learned, you know. Through the recent snowstorms we had, trees are very dangerous. Oh, yeah. Um, and having been around while trees were being taken down, it, I see it. Yeah, it, and and they, they took that simple concept and put it in the game. Yeah, so you're like, like, I'm just chopping down a tree. And it startled me the first time because I was, yeah. like, chopping down a tree. And then I saw it, pop, it broke, and it turned into a big log that fell over and started rolling. And I'm like, oh, crap. And I've dropped logs on myself. I've dropped it on my house. Yeah, I dropped one near. It landed, started rolling toward it. Luckily, there was a rock there, and it went bonk into the rock and didn't hit my house. I, I wasn't expecting it to go near my house. I was just like, oh, this one's close, but it'll be fine. And, do, do, do. and it fell just the right, and it just caught the corner. Oh, right. no. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, was there damage? It was mild damage. Did you have to file an insurance claim? I did not. Uh, I don't think there is a, uh, an, an old Yes, time. it's, it's uh, the <laughs> Allfathers <laughs> and <laughs> Sons <laughs> <laughs> insurance policy. <LLC>. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all fathers and son uh, it, that's probably a real company <laughs> if it's not it should be <laughs> that would be a, all father and son all fathers and sons uh, LLC uh, I'm gonna google that and see if that's real after this uh, that's pretty uh, be pretty funny if it re- is real um, uh, yeah and so there's some elements of stuff like that and there it is it's just kind of fun. I don't know. Uh-huh. I like it. it uh, it's nice. Uh, uh, the building it, meca- me- mechanic mechanism me- mechanics mechanics uh, is uh, it's fairly simple, but it can get intricate. I can see how it can be. Intricate. Yeah, can I've you, looked on. If I went on the Reddit for Valheim just to see what people were building, and they were doing some really clever things. Yeah, and it looks they look so cool, and I'm like, I built a square hat. A oh, square hut. A hut. Yeah, that's right. It's a hut, you see? Yeah. <laughs> it's got four walls and a, some thatch. And now that means this. That's what I did. My, our, our structures are simple right now, yeah. but there is something appealing. Yeah, it's very there, nice. It looks nice. It I looks like, like the a bracing. real house. I, I built a little, like a... I, I really like mine because I built a kind of a square house. Uh-huh. and then I But I put my fire inside and I learned, you know... Uh, that you cannot do that because it will kill you. Uh, I, I and didn't know I built a that. chimney. Yeah. Uh, I built, and it's, it's not like a straight up chimney. It's like it goes up one level, there's a box around the, above the fire, and then there's a slanted thatch roof to go out the back of the, of the house. So it just goes whoop, and oh, there goes down. my pen. Uh, it just goes out the back, and I'm like, it works perfectly. And it's, I just have a fire burning all the time. It's, See, I didn't, I didn't know you couldn't do that, but yeah. I do have a fire inside yeah. my house. And I was like, how have you not died from the smoke? And then because you said, oh, what, you know, you turn it off, basically. Well, basically, it only runs. I had a, the only reason I put a fire inside, I had a fire outside, yeah. but then it rained and the fire went out. Uh-huh. So I was like, I was trying to sleep for the night, and you can't sleep without a fire. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll just take a piece of the floor out. And stick it in the ground. Yeah. Now it might be working on two for two reasons. Well, because you I, might just have smoke under the floor. It, yeah, it could be yeah. smoke under the floor, but it also could be there is a hole mm. under. It. Yeah, it's not a completely sealed. Yeah, under the floor. Oh, and it's going out that little, way. So it might be going out there. Yeah. Or I left the door open. Yeah, that'll probably help. That too. might be what happened. Um, because I I, I did see a cool guy. Door. One of the builds I saw. This guy built a sauna. A sauna? And basically on the ground floor, it was just covered in fires, like uh, underneath the, and then he had built the whole flooring above it, and then, uh, uh, and it's attached to the side of his house, and then you walk in and the whole floor is all smoky from all this fires underneath, and he can just sit down there in his little sauna, it looked really cool. <laughs> Cause there's temperature stuff in there. Oh so yeah, sure yeah. It's, so it's very toasty in there. It's like, it'd be funny. It was like you're getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting a steam on. Right, yeah. Right. Oh, Get pour some water I'm, on the coals. I'm glistening. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good glisten. Um, the uh, the build mechanics are cool because uh, it you can only build out so far. You have to have structure. Yeah. Uh, you have it's to build realistic. in support. It's fairly realistic. So if you build up on something, it'll let you build it, and then it'll immediately break off. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to build a tower on the side of my house, and then so I was building a staircase. And I think it was a combination. It was raining a lot, 
and I had not structured it, so all the pieces started just wearing out. Like, they started yeah. bowing, and they looked cool, and they start wearing out because they start buckling in weird ways and twisting, and I'm like, oh. And I was like, oh, my, my, all of the pieces of my tower are just, like, falling apart. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, and then I realized, oh, because I have it three levels up and no, no real support other than the walls. Yeah. And so I learned, oh, I can place all these beams in the wall, and so I started doing, uh, oh, and they look cool. You get all these cross-hatching and stuff. I'm like, oh. So I figured that out, and yeah. I was able to get it where it was stable. Basic. Basic architecture. Yeah, I'm tearing it down now. Because <laughs> uh, I was like, I built it, but I was next to a big tree, which I thought looked nice because it's one of the big fat tree. Mm. And, but I can't cut it down. Uh, but I thought, oh, it looks nice in this little big meadows area with this big tree. I'll build my house. Well, when I built the tower into it, I built it into the limb of the tree. Mm. It looked weird. And so I, mo- I tore it down recently. Yeah. I'm going to move it. Well, that's good. Make it rebuild it, make it better. I'll be playing a lot more Valheim. I'm I think enjoying so. it. We'll definitely need to do some multiplayer on it because I was reading the deal. It was like part of the game mechanics and the reason that some of the limitations are is kind of geared towards playing with other people. And yeah, because I kind of hit a wall, making a community yeah. together and to kind of help each other progress. Yeah, and that that's kind of this. Yeah, I I, I really have found myself in the woods going. I wish I had someone to help back me up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and because I'm had I'm hitting a wall where I'm like I need to explore the black forest more, but it's a little scary because you get ganged up on by a bunch yeah. of gray dwarves. Yeah, and I did bite a giant deer. Yeah. that was something. Yeah, I, I did that. not expect it. Well, I, when I summoned it, it's the first thing you can summon, mm-hmm. and uh, I was fighting it. I did, I went over there thinking, oh, I'll summon it, see what happens, expecting to lose, to die, and then just uh, which you did. I did, and. Uh, I did. I got it halfway down. It's health half down. But I was in the woods, and he was just like, I thought, oh, there's tons of trees, and I can like move around him and stuff. And he was just destroying the forest, like knocking trees over. And I'm mm. like, this is intense. Yeah. And I finally got him halfway down, and I died. And I thought, oh well, he'll despawn. I will go back and get my stuff. No, I go back to get my stuff, and he's still there. Yeah. And Once he's summoned, he doesn't yeah, go. Yeah. And away. I was like, oh crap! So I had I died twice trying to kill, fight him off, and I managed to finally kill him. Yeah. You did better, but you had upgraded equipment. I had upgraded equipment, and he was in a field. Yeah. He wasn't in the forest. Yeah, so a little I easier, man. I was just, like, dodging trees. I got so crushed, hit by a tree or two, and I was like, oh, my God. I, I just I shot him in yeah. the bow a bunch of times. Yeah, I, I did not do that well. I don't have – I have trouble. I think my mouse slips a lot, and I don't – I just, like, drop arrows, basically. I don't – Pull well, back it, far enough to yeah. Well, if you it's your stamina play comes into play. Well, it's not wasn't stamina related. Low, it was just like just... my mouse. If I don't, I get slid back on it sometimes, and no. I it doesn't like it doesn't want to click. Yeah, I have to re- use my mouse the right way, or otherwise yeah. it doesn't. Mm-hmm. I played a lot more Blasphemous. It's a fantastic game, but I ha- I want all I want to say about it is that it seems like I help all these people in the game uh-huh. only for them to be dead. Yeah. To get killed. Yeah. It's like, there I'm trying to help them you each enlightenment or blessings or whatever, and then they die. Yeah. Uh, which is horrific. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have, I'm at 80% complete, oh. and there's been tons of these things on the wall that I don't know how to use. And it, I was like, is there a grappling hook or something? It always next to stuff I can't reach. Yeah. And I was like, I have gone through most of the game. Yeah. And, and I you don't have, have don't have this thing. Yeah. So I finally went and looked. And I was like, "What?" Did I? And I turns out I missed this one little section in one of the earlier sections of the game that had these this altar thing that I can make offerings, which there were three items I'd had for a while. I didn't know what to do <laughs> with. And I made this offering to a big three faced hairy lady, and went through a bunch of other things and got this thing that now lets this basically some roots grow down and I can climb it. So uh, now I'm at that point where, like, I need to go through the entire map to collect all these things I hadn't been getting. Yeah. Because I'm pretty clo- sure I'm close to the end of the boss. I'm pretty – I'm at an area. I've done all these things. I'm like I – th- I got to an area. I'm like, this feels like I'm going to the end game. Yeah. So I'm going to do other stuff first. <laughs> okay. So I, I'm pretty close to finishing it, I think. Okay. Uh, I'm just going good. around to collect stuff to kind of get that 100%. Yeah. But it's a great game. I love it. I, it's You know, it's not too difficult. Like, mm. Hollow Knight is a great platformer. I love it. It is kind of hard at yeah. points. Like, uh, the final boss especially is particularly hard. Mm. Uh, some of the fights are ridiculous in that game. This is, there are some challenging ones, but overall, not that hard. 
I don't have trouble. If you play Hollow Knight, no problem. You will have no problem with this. Yeah. Same with like if you play Dark Souls, you will have no no problem with this game. Well, yeah, I'm thinking if you play Dark Souls, you won't have a lot of problems. Yeah, with a lot of so. games. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. really good at Dark Souls. I, I love the game. I yeah. I really like it a lot. Um, I like the aesthetic and the theme, and it, it's just cool. Yeah, it's made by like a, a Spanish team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they're really cool. Well, good. Yeah. Did you play anything else? Um. I played a little bit of Rogue Legacy too, just trying to play, yeah. trying out some new stuff, and I'm I've, like, it's different. <laughs> They've added a lot. Yeah, I've played it. I don't think I'm, I can't. Not much. Sure. If I did, I didn't play it much. Yeah, I only played a little bit just to kind of get a feel yeah. for it. it. The Gunslinger is fun. I still haven't got that one. Yeah, I've gotten it twice now. Yeah, he's just like bang 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 bang, and then reload. Uh, <laughs> so it's a lot of damage, and then a a, a cooldown. Yeah, I guess. yeah. Basically, you have 24 bullets, and you can rapid fire them pretty quick. Uh, it's kind of like using the the boat the archer, but you you could and you gotta aim and stuff. But um, see, I'm, I'm not good with the range. I do better with the gunslinger than than the the oh, archer. archer. But yeah. I do okay with the. Archer. I avoid the archer because yeah. I'm just I cannot get that yeah. that me- mechanism down. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's cool. basically it. Yeah. Um. Shall we talk about the news? Sure. All right, let's play the news theme song. <laughs> that do it for you? I guess. I guess I'll have to. What about? It's not any better. Oh, oh, here we go. And that's, uh, that's the no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. No. Okay. I mean, All we right. could use that little sn- snippet. Uh, like, da 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 news. <laughs> That's better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All, right. All, right. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Yeah. Okay. Good, job. Good job. They like moving on. Yeah, like oh, moving I shouldn't on. have harshly ended it. Yeah. I should have I should have faded it. Yeah, no fade. Yeah. Make it so it's self natural. Yeah. Like people naturally, I'm getting better at it. People naturally get quieter when they're quiet. No, but the microphones get faded out while well, well, yeah, that is true. Because people are loud. They're signed to say applause. Yeah. yeah. I know I've been to a live studio. I know, that's that's yeah. No. Yeah. You're manipulated by yeah. You know, yes. The, uh, when they say the applaud, I go, Wah! Yeah, you were just like, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I'm in this show. <laughs> if I make weird sounds, I can hear me in the background. Uh, <laughs> distinctive laugh. Uh, yep. <laughs> well, I do have many of those. Yeah, they're annoying. Uh, <laughs> I'm certain they are. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Uh, some news this week. We talked a, while, uh, a little while back that the developers on Terraria yeah. were blocked out of their Google account yeah. and no longer... Which would, is a problem. Uh, I mean, we ha- I've run into yeah. it. Where you could, if you accidentally get locked out of your Google account, there's like nothing you can do. Yeah. Well, they st- because of that, they were like, we're not putting Terraria on uh, Stadia, Stadia. Yeah. and we're banning it. Well, they have resolved the issue. Yeah. Google has reached out to them, mostly because of fans. Yeah. And uh, um, I wish we had the fandom to do that. To do I'd that. I'd be like, hey, I've lost access to this. I, and then, by the way, I've also lost access to these other two Reddit accounts. Can you do anything about yeah. that? <laughs> Uh, well, Dread is not owned by Google. Aaron, so. th- my, I have the airing of grievances. <laughs> oh. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, well, they have fixed it, and now Terraria is coming to uh, being released on Stadia. Yes. Uh, back on in development or whatever, uh-huh. and they are working on it, and they have fixed the issues. Apparently. Well, that's good. Uh, which, I don't know why, no one's going to get Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a lost Google, cause. Google's not even that like big into it right now. Yeah, I mean, and they put millions of dollars into an article talking about yeah the amount that. of money they dump millions of dollars just to get games just to get the games it. on it. Yeah, like, and it was just like to the point where it's like they had so much money. Developers were like, well, we have to take it. I mean, yeah, why it's wouldn't so, we? It's the amount of money they were giving them, it was like they level up. They couldn't refuse it. Well, like, it's why not, would you take it? I mean, it's probably more money than it well, cost to actually port it. So. Well, it's just the thing. It was like if the, the the money they were giving them was enough to where it's like the development of the game. It was like it offset a huge amount yeah. of development. So it would be like, well, you know, we already have this game. We have to port it. It's not going to cost that much to port it. Yeah. So and we, it offsets some of the cost of making the game. Exactly. Yeah. And so it was, it's, it's an offer they couldn't refuse. It was a weird 
and I think that was part of the problem too. Is like they were offering big developers huge amounts of money, and then made not so many for like yeah. the lower one. So I think that was kind of they were losing a lot of the indie people. Yeah, because of that. Yeah, uh, but it just. It's just they try to push it out too fast. Yeah. And they didn't slow roll you know, like they should. Um, but anyway. Yeah. Big news this week. In the Pokemon world. Yes. I, it's the one thing I wrote under my news. Notes. Yeah. Uh, the first thing is uh, there's a remake of Diamond and Pearl. I do not care. Uh, which is the uh, one of the DS games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah coming yeah, yeah, to yeah. Switch. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. redoing it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't really care about that either. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. Uh, it's I don't cool. think I really... I own one of them. I own Diamond, I think, but I did not play yeah, it that Yeah, much. I think I have one of them. I uh, think I have Pearl. I don't yeah. know. I have whatever the opposite Yeah, I believe there. you had Pearl. Um, and But that's all well and good. Uh-huh. But they also announced, finally... What I've been wanting. What we've been talking about for years. For years. So what I'm they, doing a show, definitely. Um, is, uh, it's, it's a game called Pokemon Legends. Yes. Uh, Arceus. Is that right? Is that I don't know. Let me Arceus? see. Arceus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Arceus. Um, you, you see yes. where, uh, uh, Arceus. A open world mm. Pokemon game. Yeah. Where uh, they pretty much just copied the, the Breath of the Wild they trailer. Took the Breath of the Wild <laughs> map. Threw it in, <laughs> throw some Pokemon on it. And then get some sweeping cameras, and you're like, yep, this is it. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like Breath of the Wild. It, it looks the pretty good. The style is like Breath of the Wild and all this stuff. And I get it. Uh, you know, Breath of the Wild is With a huge success. It, it's a huge success. It's also an open world game that runs well on the Switch. Yeah. So, obviously, you... Yeah, why will... Yeah. You, you're you gonna should, you should look at that. how that engine works, and you're going to make sure... Because mm. you want it to run well. Mm. You want a big open world that runs well on the Switch. Mm. And Pokemon looks like they need Nailed it, and, and uh, I'm hope- I'm super excited. I'm really. I excited. was. I haven't even played the last one. I was just like, I, I just, just there wasn't anything interest that hooked yeah. me about it. And I'm just like, I don't know. I just, and I, I needed something really different to get me back. Into I a played the game. last one. There's so many of them I have gotten and played just for a few hours and then yeah. dropped. And I'm like, it's not worth the money I spent. Yeah, to play it. So I just kind of skipped it. Yeah. Well. And this one, we're going to have to wait a while. It's not coming until 2022. Yes. But, so I'm, I'm, super but I'm super excited by it. Mm-hmm. Like, it looks like a, a fun, 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 fun concept. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, E3 2021. Mm-hmm. The uh, physical event has been officially canceled. Yeah. Um, no Obviously, surprise there. For obvious reasons. No surprise there. Um, which we talked about that it's probably going to be all digital this year. Yeah. But who knows if it will uh, be maybe the maybe. fall, but who knows? It's well, just, we have no idea what you know. America's have done done a shitty job with the pandemic, yeah. so so hopefully things are getting better. And anyone who wants to argue that, look at the half a million people who have died. Yes, and shut up. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So the, uh, we talked about last week that Apple was trying to get Valve massive amount yes. of data. Yes. Yeah. Well, the court has ruled that they have to give some of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, not for all the games. Yeah. And not for as big of a window that they want. Yeah. But they Stuff that's rule, relevant. <laughs> yeah. And even then, it's questionable whatever. So they have to give, for 436 games that are on Steam, they have to give the data to Apple. For hmm. whatever. And apparently Apple's doing a lot of this where they're getting a lot of stuff from a lot of different sources. They're also getting a bunch of data on from Samsung mm. in regards to the Galaxy and stuff. Hmm. I don't know. It, it, they're kind of make a big sweeping argument. Yeah. It's like, oh, they, we don't, we're not a monopoly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of are. Yeah. Kind of is. Yeah. Um, don't talk about Disney, though. Oh, shh. That's a good monopoly. Yeah. No, that's I mean, they make a lot of good stuff. They but make so much good content. They're so distracting from their problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Stardew Valley. Yes. It's a board game. Yes. A co-op board game. Stardew Valley is a board, co-op board game. Yeah. It's I'm intrigued. Out. It's out. Yes. I think so. You can get it now. Oh, uh, it's, it's start. It's called Stardew Valley, the board game. Okay, and it sounds like it sounds like an app title. And it sounds like the it's it's Stardew Valley. You're playing. I bro- I copied the description because I was like, I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, gr- you're growing crops, raising animals, expanding their your farm, and building like relationships. Resource. I mean, and 
uh, see, befriending local villagers. Uh, players earn hearts that allow them to reveal hidden goals. Uh huh. Um, to Stardew Valley. To stop the big corporation from coming in. And yeah. Work. It's the game. Uh, yeah. You're all playing together, so you're all f- working towards a goal. Okay. Um, which sounds interesting. Yeah. But it, I worry it falls into a lot of games where it's like all co-op and 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 my problem with a lot of co-op games is if, if once you play through with a certain you group get people, good with it you get good at it it's not any fun it's you're not like everyone challenge. knows how to do it yeah um i hope there's some kind of mechanism that changes it up and yeah. changes the goal so yeah. it makes it a little more challenging yeah. for different playthroughs but i'm intrigued i'm gonna have to look i'm at intrigued it. i need i want to check it out I'm see what it looks like what the mechanism for farming is i don't know um so it's probably some kind of timer or something sure. probably um Speaking of things canceled, okay. Uh, Bioware. Did did we mention things canceled? Okay. Yes, the uh, E three. Oh, that okay. Uh, you you did out of order. I did out of order. That was not. That was. Confusing. It's called a transition. It wasn't a very good one. No, <laughs> Bioware. Uh-huh. Oh, the news theme. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Bioware has canceled any further development on Anthem. Yeah, I mean, you remember you know, that game they released? Yeah, a couple that everyone was excited out when the, the trailer Destiny came out, clone. and then nothing, nothing really. It ended up not being much of anything. It's like we can be Iron Man, and then we're like, "This is not a good game." Yeah, <laughs> um, it's not a good game, man, <laughs> man. Um, so they have ceased development on it, and yeah. then, and then they said, "We're sorry, we're sorry, we disappointed you. We're disappointed in ourselves." And you. they, and then they went and flagellated themselves. Not, why would they be farting? <laughs> it, that, you, Everyone farts, Daniel. That's I, normal. I, uh, that's flatulence. Uh-huh. That's I'm talking about flagellation. That's what you said, isn't it? I did not. Okay, GameStop. Some interesting things in GameStop this week. Oh, okay. Are we going to talk about this? Uh, well, n- briefly. Okay. The stock's shot up. That's yeah. a thing that happens. Yes. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the CFO yes. uh, has resigned. Yeah. Or is resigning. Yeah, and um, taking a bunch of money with and him. And $2.8 million. Dollars. Yeah, he has a severance package. <laughs> you know, I want one of those The amount of packages. money that the people who own GameStop stock is hoping to get. <laughs> 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 he did it without owning shares. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, you think as a CFO he would have shares? Uh, he maybe. I, I don't know. know how that works. He maybe. He, he, he might maybe have double stock teaming options. It. He's I, got both. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> uh, yeah, so the CFO is leaving in March. Yes. Uh, toward the end of March, and yeah. uh, um, which is interesting because the speculation is he's a brick and mortar guy. Yeah. And that they want someone who's uh, more digital, o- online, re- online, motor, forward. you know, web sales. Yeah. Uh, Which so is really the market they should be tapping. It into. really is the market they should be going with. Yeah. And that's the direction. So depending on who replaces him, it could signal the direction of, yeah, uh, of GameStop. So yeah. maybe, maybe GameStop will get better. We'll know. Who, who knows? knows? I don't know. Not so me. we'll see. Um. Vampire the Masquerade 2, uh-huh. Bro- Masquerade Bloodlines 2, has been delayed. Uh, again. Uh, again. Like the no third longer time coming out in 2021. I mean, COVID is, a, you know, Well, a yeah, COVID <laughs> messed up a lot of people. Yeah. Um, Working from think, home is hard. I seem to be not the only reason behind this. Yeah. They've removed one of the there's, developers. There's some creative stuff going on. Yeah, I think, I think it's just... Creative differences, yeah, um, and that's what it's not going. It's the way they planned yeah. it. But the Heart Suit Labs, which is was working with them on the development, has they've they've they they're no longer working on it. Yeah, uh, and uh, so they're shifting gears a little bit, mm-hmm. and they are stopping pre-orders. So you can't pre-order anymore uh. because. So it's gonna be probably a while, a while before yeah. we see it, which is disappointing. I, I, I was it's disappointing, but I, if they, as long as they come out with a good game, I mean, can be patient. I mean, the standard for it is not that high. Yeah, I mean the buggy. previous Bloodline was, one was fun, but it, it had some problems. It, it's pretty buggy. Yeah, uh, and so if the new one is buggy, it's just nostalgia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you Get know, on that nostalgia bug. Yeah, <laughs> um, project. Uh, CD Projekt Red 
yeah. was locked out of their computers for two weeks. Oh, wow. Because of the, you know, hack. Oh, happened. hell yeah, really? Yeah, apparently uh, they were, well, a lot of them were working from home, and so they had to bring their computers in to get checked for malware and stuff, and so they were pretty much shut down, down. Shut down for two weeks. Wow. Um, and, yeah, they're having and a rough time. because of that, uh, they delayed the patch that yeah. they were working on. Yeah. That was supposed to come out soon, but. Yeah. Um, so that's been delayed. So if you're expecting for cyberpunk, yeah, for cyberpunk, I assume uh, not The Witcher. Which what else are they working on? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. They may be working on all kinds of things. I have you, no idea. Yeah. Uh, um, so if you're looking for that, you're gonna have to wait a little longer. And then Sony has said they are they are working on the next gen uh, VR for PlayStation Five. Okay. Um, so you're not going to be stuck with the previous gen on the new console okay. with an adapter. Um, they are developing some nothing more to say on that, but they are. It is in the works. Okay. So, so that's that's the first. I mean, they got they, more hardware behind it. So yeah, they which makes sense. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a, there's a big market for that. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, Oculus Quest Two has really tapped into the lower end of that. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, now we are now a, a two VR household, right? Yes, now. and because of the pricing on it, and if yeah. PlayStation I mean, mine's can, better. If Sony can <laughs> continue, and they did well with their their previous one, they had some mm. exclusives. Yeah. And stuff. So if they they continue mm-hmm. that path, I think they could have a solid uh, yeah VR setup. Um, yeah. But we'll see. Then we shall see. Um, I think that's it. That's it? I think All right. that's well, the that's news. good, because we're at the end of the show. Play the ending of the news song. Uh, is that it? Or, or is it? I like the second one better. Here we go. Let's do a combo. Uh, yeah, maybe I should... Maybe... Uh, I'll figure it out. Uh, I'll, I'll get it down. I don't think you know what you're doing. I don't. Uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay. Well, as always... You know, go to our website, duddandan.com, D-U-D-D-N-D-A-N, mm-hmm. or duddan.com. Mm-hmm. We'll get you there. Yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Those are things that help us. Uh, yeah. Write us a review. That would be great. Yeah. I, we don't have a lot. I would like to see more. Yeah. Honestly, I'll take any kind of reviews. You could say, these guys are kind of funny, but they're really annoying. Here's five They stars. have a good balance <laughs> of... <laughs> No, annoying and funny. I would accept that because it is true. It'd be funny is if someone goes it's and writes that exact <laughs> quoting right there and then uh, put it on there. Everyone will just think you did it. Oh, it's true. But uh, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't review myself. I don't even listen to myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, you edit I, this if show. I will accept if you went on there and was just like, they sound like the same person. Yeah. And I'd be like, yes. Yeah. I mean, I was editing Accurate. with this new thing where I didn't have a panned already, and I couldn't tell who was talking. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. I was listening to what I thought was me, and then I realized I didn't say that. Dudley said that. Uh-huh. That is Dudley. Mm-hmm. So that's fair. Yeah. I will accept it. Yeah. It is a, a valid criticism, yeah. and, and that is okay. As biology, we can't do much we about We can't that. do a lot about that. We try to do some in the editing to help. Yeah. Um, but yeah, please please take a, just a moment, just a little bit of your time. Give us a review. That helps us out. It gets us out there but more. Uh, and uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for listening. I'm Dan May. And I'm Dudley May. And this has been Dud and Dan. Dan.